What is up, you guys? My name is Nick, and welcome to my channel, where I cover all things entertainment. Whatever you're watching, I'm making videos about. And you should be watching Netflix's reboot of Unsolved Mysteries, the original true crime show. If you did not grow up with Unsolved Mysteries, I am sorry for your childhood. I watched a little bit of it when I was a kid, but I recently rediscovered it on Amazon Prime. Oh, it's so good. There's just so many great old episodes. You can still watch them on Amazon Prime through the IMDb TV channel. IMDb TV channel. Well, that got me for a minute. But the it is for free, but with ads. So kind of like watching old school TV a little bit. But I love these kinds of fascinating stories that just don't really have explanations. Things that just don't make sense. Like, there's a mother and she went to McDonald's for her morning coffee and we have the footage of her pulling into the drive-thru, but there's no footage of her driving out of the drive-thru. Where'd she go? Where's Teresa? Probably the Bahamas. But I just find that stuff so interesting. And what's really interesting about Unsolved Mysteries, especially if you go back and watch those older episodes, the show was actually used to solve some of the Unsolved Mysteries. Like, people would call in and and be like that guy on your episode that killed his whole family well he's my neighbor Tur turns out he lives next door so come and get his ass this is not the old unsolved mysteries of course but i have to say that i think netflix has done a damn good job of updating this for 2020 netflix really has made a name for themselves in the true crime docu-series world i mean look how big tiger king was i mean mostly because we were all stuck inside but also because Tiger King was crazy. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs crazy. But whether you've watched Making a Murderer or The Keepers or The Staircase, or the, there's a lot. They've done a lot of really good ones. And they take that big budget, super comprehensive look of the docuseries and they've applied that to the show Unsolved Mysteries. It's pretty much the greatest mashup I've seen in a minute. They have changed the format. This again, it's not the old show. It's definitely different and some sticklers could have problems with that, but I, I really feel like they've made Unsolved Mysteries the black mirror of true crime docuseries on Netflix. And I'm really excited about it. So the format is different. As opposed to covering multiple cases per episode, they cover one, which in one way is good because they're able to really focus on each case. However, I have to admit that I personally think that the episodes are a tad bloated. I think they're longer than they need to be. I think if all of these episodes were a good half hour, it would be perfect. It would, it would be perfect. That would be solid. If they were able to do that, going forward, I would really like that. I do like the update on the theme. I don't love it, but I like it so far. And, and it grew on me with each passing episode. That's always a good thing. And the cases themselves in this show, they're very interesting. And they're ones that I don't think every true crime YouTuber has done to death. So I definitely would recommend you gotta jump on this. You gotta watch Unsolved Mysteries if you have not already. It's so good. But I, I will say they aren't as crazy of cases as I would like them to be. I mean, I know that sounds terrible. Like, obviously, there's some real deep stuff going on in a lot of these. And I'm not at all trying to minimize that. My point is, I like stuff where, like, someone went to the gym and then they vanished, uh, like, out of thin air, like, like, at the gym. Stuff where I'm like, there is not an explanation. Like, no one knows where he went. He's just gone. gone. Gone but not forgotten, you know? Dead as a doornail, probably. But I can confidently say for each and every one of these episodes, I think that there is a pretty general explanation. This show could be called Technically Unsolved Mysteries, even though we know he committed a hate crime. You could see it in that dude's eyes. Like, you know. The first episode with the man on the rooftop, interesting stuff. I liked it. Crazy. You could tell there was... There was an extra layer there that they could really only get into so much. I liked that. And my personal favorite was probably the episode on the alien UFO encounter in 1969. It's probably the simplest. And I think one that most people will probably just be like, okay, like these people had an experience. Some, someone spiked the punch 
is what happened in 1969. But I mean, I, be I believe I'm a believer. Listen, I'm a believer in all of the things. I like all of the paranormal, all of the crazy stuff. I think these people maybe did have an alien experience. I mean, it sounds pretty crazy, but th the way it plays out and the way you hear all of these different perspectives, like it, th if aliens are out there watching right now, I'm, I'm sure they're like, they haven't come down for a reason. Am I right? Would you, if you were the aliens, would you come down here? I don't think so. I don't go to Florida. But, you know, I'm just saying that, like, uh, if you believe in aliens, that could make sense. All of the cases do have some pretty obvious conclusions, but I do like the way that they lay out all of the information so that you as the viewer go, oh, it, it, it he did it. Clearly, it was that guy, which, you know, I like being able to do that, but I just want different stories of stuff that just does not make sense at all. I just love that. But we only have six episodes in this first volume. I feel like they're testing it out. And I gotta say, what I really care for the most here is just that I really like what they've done with this show. They've really taken the format. They've worked it with their own Netflix format of how they do docuseries. That I think is really good and really interesting. Even if this first part wasn't the most satisfying, it's still really good and really enjoyable. I watched it all the way through. I started at one and I watched all of them. I just, I, I had to, I really enjoyed it. Even if I do want, I just want more. I want more episodes. I want more. I want it to get creepier. I want it to get weirder. And at the end of each episode, they have this thing where like, you know, go to unsolved.com, send us your stories. And I'm like, people, send some freaky stories. I want to see some freaky stories. Again, I think this could be like the new Black Mirror of true crime docu-series. Like if you were to apply that, if you get what I'm saying. I really think this is very interesting, and this is, like, a really good starting point. I just hope enough people tune in and, you know, positively react to it so that they do make more. We need more of this. That's pretty much where I'm at, is we need some more Unsolved Mysteries. But overall, this is such a good binge. It's really fun. It's enjoyable. It's exciting. It's creepy. It's weird. It's disturbing. There's a lot going on in Unsolved Mysteries. There is one episode I should note. It is entirely in French. Do not skip it. Please do not. Because even if you're like, I can do something. I don't care about something. Else. I'll watch this. You'll find it boring in the beginning. You're going to be like, I know where this is going. Whatever. It's messed up. You gotta watch it. It's, it's messed up. What did you guys think of Unsolved Mysteries? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Of course, as always, I really appreciate you guys throwing so much love to this channel recently, especially in the last few days. It has just been insane. I just truly, from one movie nerd to another, or TV nerd, or whatever nerd, entertainment nerd, from one to another, thank you. I'm so glad that you're here watching this hanging with me in this nerd space. It's kind of fun. I'm going to I'm gonna keep it as fun as possible. You let me know in the comments what you want to see here on the channel. What were your favorite uh, mysteries in Unsolved Mysteries? If you even have some recommendations on older episodes, I'd love to hear it. I, I love this stuff. It's just so good. It's so entertaining. So thank you so much again. Like this video. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to watch this now. That's it for this video, unfortunately, but I won't stop you from watching another.